I quickly want to explain to you how we can use NMOS transistors to perform a, um, a logic function for us. Uh, you will need this in the practical as well. Um, I want you to initially just consider a DC power supply connected in series with a resistor R and this then is connected to a switch and this switch can either be closed circuit or open circuit. We close the circuit as we do there and then we just provide a common ground um, which will be our zero volt level. The switch, oh sorry, this DC supply is a five volt DC supply. The resistor here could be anything, make it 1k, uh, one kilo ohm is a good, a good starting point. And then we're going to measure the voltage across R. And then what we're also going to measure is the voltage um, across your across the switch and this we're going to call VR and this we're going to call VS and this is our switch here. So if this switch was open circuit you would agree that um, this point here is 5 volts and then going all the way through here we will measure 5 volts and then the voltage difference over the resistor which is governed by Ohm's law is given by V is equal to I times R and because I is zero there's no path for the current to flow here remember the switch is open circuit so there's no current flowing no path for the current to flow because i is zero the voltage across here will be zero as well um, so the the logic that we get here is if the switch is open my vs is equal to something but let's just put VR in there as well so that we have an intermediary step, intermediate step. Um, VR we just calculated is zero if it's open circuit. And then the question becomes, what is VS then? Well, if there's no voltage drop across this resistor, so you have the potential here, five volts, five volts, all relative to ground, five volts, there's no drop across the resistor, no reduction in voltage, then this will also be five volts, five volts, all the way down here, 5 volts is what you will measure. And this is the equivalent of taking a battery and then just putting a resistor in there and measuring between those two points what is the voltage. And the voltage will just be, if this is a 9 volts battery, it'll be 9 volts. Um, so anyway, so the voltage over Vs then, the voltage present here when the switch is open, is then a 5 volts level. If we were to close this, if we were to close this switch, what will happen then? Well, then we create a short circuit between the ground, which is zero volts, and between this point here, which is then also obviously going to be zero volts. Right, so the Vs here is zero volts. So we can say if it's closed, then we have Vs is equal to zero volts. What I want to then just demonstrate to you is if this circuit is closed, suddenly this has to produce current because the circuit is closed. So it's pushing electrons through the circuit. And because of this flow of electrons, because of the current, we have a voltage drop across R. And the voltage drop is equal to I times R. So because this point here is short-circuited to ground, we're assuming a switch of zero ohms. Because this is short-circuited to ground, and this point here is obviously 5 volts, the voltage drop across the resistor must be equal to 5 volts. So in terms of the circuit, if you just ignore that column for a second, in terms of the circuit, the output, which we will make this output, Vs is what I called my output. Um, in terms of the output, an open circuit leads to 5 volts, and a closed circuit leads to 0 volts. So if you just keep that in mind for a second, I want to introduce to you an NMOS transistor. So an NMOS transistor for the purposes of this module is going to be a three terminal device. And this three terminal device can be in one of two um, states. It can either be an open circuit or it can be a closed circuit. So this device here which we call NMOS, it's a bit more complicated in the real world, but for this module that's all you need to know. It can either be doing that, or it can be doing that, 
and the difference between the two is what the voltage level here is and this we call the gate or the in for this module this is the gate of the transistor and then you also have a source and a drain but um, we also we only worry about v gate if v in is equal to zero volts then it's an open circuit however if v in is equal to five volts it's a closed circuit so it's literally as if this thing is opening or closing a zero ohm switch so it's either saying your closed circuit so you're conducting zero ohms zero ohms or it's open circuit meaning it's infinity ohms all right infinity that's infinity right there um, the something that you might want to understand but you don't really need to for this module you may want to know that the, the relative measurement so this v in must be zero relative to this point here for it to be switched off to be open circuit or that must be 5 volts relative to this point here to be conducting all right so that's quite important because voltage is always relative so you may want to know is that high or low relative to that point or is it relative to this point well it's relative to this point here this point here just for reference is called the drain this is called the source and this is called the gate so that vn is really vgs if vgs is greater than a threshold so oh, sorry if it's it's close to zero volts then it will be open circuit and if vgs the difference between those two points is greater than the threshold close to five volts then that will turn on and conduct so if you then replace in this circuit here just replace the switch with this what you get is you have your five volt supply your resistor and then you have this transistor this three terminal device which really just switches on or off based on v in and this we define as v out yet again well i called v s there v out and then you can just by looking at this table you can quickly see that if i have a v in and a v out if v in is zero this thing will not conduct it will be open circuit right as per the definition here if that's zero volts relative to zero volts if it's zero volts then it will be open circuit if it's open circuit the output will be five volts however if this is high so if this is five volts relative to this point here then it will activate it will start to conduct and when it conducts so this is input is high when it conducts you can see if it's closed circuit then the output is zero volts so what you can see here is very clearly we've just made a not gate so this here it, it makes a not gate and the way that we draw this um, in, a, in a more elegant way I guess is we say we have a 5 volt terminal it goes through the resistor and we have this as our output measurement then it goes through the switch or the transistor that's the in that's the out which is obviously relative to a ground and that's the way we um, that's the way we draw it and that there is just a not gate using an NMOS transistor so that's NMOS so NMOS works in this way that we've declared here so I'll quickly do the same for a PMOS and I just need to get my paper ready yeah. so what we're looking at here is a PMOS and this is the definition for a PMOS PMOS definition says this is a PMOS transistor and it will either be conducting when VN is zero or it will not be conducting when VN is equal to 5 volts so the the positive or the, the top part of this transistor is usually connected to high usually connected to 5 volts and what this really means is the difference between those two is what is at stake here the voltage difference between those two if VN is zero then there's a voltage difference between those two levels between the gate and that point there and then this conducts however if this point here is at 5 volts there is no voltage difference between those two points meaning it won't conduct so this thing switches 
based on the relative voltage between those two points. That's what a PMOS does. So if you had to do the same with a PMOS, develop a NOT gate, um, what you would do is you would say, okay, I have a 5 volt supply, and then I'm going to use my PMOS to pull up or pull down, and I may have not mentioned that, but this resistor is called a pull-up for exactly the reason that I mentioned earlier. This resistor here, it performs a pull-up function when this switch is not conducting. So that's why we call it a pull-up resistor. It pulls up this output to 5 volts when this is open circuit. So instead of the pull-up resistor, we're going to use our PMOS transistor, and then we're going to use a resistor to perform the pull down function and our output will again be here V in so if you were to consider this circuit here um, let's just do the logic so V in V out or what I called output here and um, if V in is zero what you will find is there is a potential difference here the logic says if V in is zero it's conducting because it's conducting, there's a short circuit between your output and 5 volts. So this PMOS is saying, hey, come up to 5 volts, please. There's a zero ohm impedance here, so that goes to 5 volts. However, if Vn is equal to 5 volts, there's no potential difference here. So in the 5 volts condition, it's an open circuit. Because it's an open circuit, what you're left with is really that there. There's no current flowing there. There's no path for current to flow. So this resistor is performing a pull-down function. It's saying, hey, voltage, you come down to me. And that means your um, output will be 0 volts when the input is 5 volts. Uh, just on that same topic, when we're back at this one here at the top, when the input is 0, this thing will be conducting. So it's as if there's a line there. It is conducting. And then this resistor of yours must drop 5 volts. It must carry current to reduce the voltage to 5 volts based on Ohm's law. All right, so that's how you make it using a PMOS transistor. That's a NOT gate using a PMOS transistor. And you should be able to guess how would you make um, a CMOS. Well, CMOS is just the complement of the two. It's just both of them. So for CMOS, you'd use 5 volts, a 5 volts terminal with your PMOS to pull up and your CMOS, uh, sorry, your, your NMOS to pull down. They're connected to the same V in and this is connected to ground and this is your output. So let's just quickly analyze this circuit. If V in is 0 or 5 volts, which will be our high and low levels, V out, what you will find is a 0 here will turn this into a conducting path. So yes, there's current flowing. A zero here will turn this, this by the way is a PMOS and this is an NMOS. A zero here means this thing will be turned off. So there's no path for current to flow here. So it's essentially open circuit. So what does that mean? Well, this is connected to five volts. So there we go, five volts. Let's consider the other case. If Vn is equal to five volts, then this is not conducting. That will be an open circuit. There's no conduction here because 5 volts is not different to the top level there, 5 volts. So that's an open circuit. And then 5 volts at the NMOS entry, if you just consider the definition of NMOS again, 5 volts will give you a conducting circuit. So that will be conducting, pulling the output to 0 volts. So that's a NOT gate using CMOS. What does CMOS mean? CMOS just means that we're using PMOS and NMOS. So the benefits of CMOS is you don't need a resistor, which means you don't lose power because the resistor that carries current generates heat and it consumes or dissipates power. The PMOS uses a resistor as a pull down, which dissipates power, and the NMOS uses a resistor for pull up, right, as we've indicated here, for pull up, and that also dissipates power. So we prefer to use CMOS because it's more energy efficient.